all right hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we're going to look at evaluation of functions <clears throat> so we have previously talked about uh, functions and what functions uh, are all about so now we want to see how to evaluate a function and what it means so now here we said given a function f of x when you're given a function f of x and then we decide to give you a value for the x so what it only means is that you should remove the x and put that value. So here, if we decide to give you x as a, so only come into that function, take away your x, and replace it with the whatever value you were given for x, whether it is an alphabet or a number or an alphabet with a number, whatever, like we have here. Okay, so let's quickly look at the examples we have. So here we have example one, solution. Example 1 says that we should evaluate this function at this point, meaning we should evaluate at x equal to 0, x equal to 3, and x equal to x plus 1. All right, and this is our f of x. So we begin for a, f of x is equal to 2x squared. So, and um, our x is replaced with 0. So wherever I see x here, I put it as 0. So here I will have 2 into 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 4. And of course, you know anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So this is 0, this is 0. And so our answer <coughs> is minus 4. And so all of this goes. And so you have only negative 4 as your solution. And that's for A. Then for B, we are asked to find the value of f of 3. And uh, it is the same function, so we'll substitute x as 3. So we'll have squared here. So this is 9 times 2 is 18. Um, and then this one is 9 minus 4. And if you do that subtraction, you will uh, get, uh, this is 5 plus uh, 18. You'll get 23 as the solution here. And then finally, for example 1, here we are asked to find the value of uh, f of x is given as 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. And we are to find the value of f of x plus 1. Okay, so anywhere we see f of x, we remove it and put... Uh, sorry, anywhere we see x, we remove it and put x plus 1. So here we have 2x plus 1 squared plus 3 into x plus 1, then minus 4. Okay, so let me come here a little bit. And so this is going to give us the square of uh, x plus 1 is x plus 1 times x plus 1. <clears throat> and we know that this is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Please do that expansion and you will get this. Okay, so if we substitute that here, we'll have x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then while this one is... Uh, 3x plus 3 then minus 4 okay and then if we open that bracket we're going to have 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 plus 3x uh, plus 3 minus 4 so if we now collect like terms our solution finally will be 2x squared 4x plus 3x is 7x and then 2 plus 3 is 5, minus 4 will give us plus 1. And that is the solution for that example C. All right, so we go to example 2 here. Okay, so example 2 says that we should find uh, the values of these functions here. So that means here we are replacing x with C, we're replacing x with this, x plus 1, and then all of that so that we should evaluate this okay so we'll begin with the first one we are always state your function first so f of x is equal to x minus x squared all right so and that is um, that means that our f of c you are just replacing x with c will be c minus c squared and that's the solution okay and that's all for that so always recall that you are replacing x with whatever is in the bracket whatever it is whether you have 
a, a long polynomial here or function here just use it to replace x and then replace the other wherever you find x so next one we have um, f of 2 plus h and this is going to give us um, uh, 2 plus h for this then minus 2 plus h all squared and so that's going to be 2 plus h uh, if you expand this you are going to have that is 2 plus h uh, into 2 plus h um, if you expand this you're going to get this is 4 this is 2h plus 2h which is 4h and then h squared okay so that's going to give us 4 plus 4h plus h squared please because of this minus it's important you put this in this bracket okay and then from here we are going to now have 2 plus h minus 4 minus 4h minus h squared and uh, of course this is going to give us uh, minus 2 this is minus 3h and then minus h squared as the required solution here okay and then quickly we go over here for example c okay so c says we should find f of x plus h so just as we did here we are going to replace our x now with x plus h and so we are going to have x plus h then minus if you put x here also you will have x plus h all squared and that's going to give us x plus h minus if you square this you are going to have x squared plus 2xh then plus h squared if you open this bracket please try to do that expansion just like i did here and you will get this okay and so from here we will have x plus h minus x squared minus 2xh then minus h squared and of course there are no like terms here uh, no like terms here so uh, that means this is our solution assuming there were like terms then maybe we would have collected the like terms and then uh, gotten the final answer but this is where we'll have to stop for this and then finally for d d is a very important concept which is going to be very useful for us when we start discussing the concept of derivative that's differentiation all right so what do we do here it says we should just evaluate this okay and what we have there is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h now assuming you we do not have the value of this would have been expected to find it just as we did here and then just substitute this but already we have gotten it in our c so it's just a substitution we are going to do okay so to substitute here now f of x plus h is uh, x plus h minus x squared minus 2xh then minus h squared then minus f of x what is our f of x f of x is this and that's going to be minus in brackets x minus x squared okay it didn't enter up here and so this is all over h and so from here we'll try to open this bracket and if we do that we are going to have x plus h minus x squared minus 2xh then minus h squared if you open this bracket now you are going to have minus x if minus multiplies minus you get plus x squared and all of this is uh, equal to sorry is being divided by h and now we can check if there are like terms to be cancelled yes of course x here can take away this x and um, x squared here can take away x squared all right so what do we have left we have that uh, this is equal to only h is left here and then minus 2xh and then uh, h squared <clears throat> minus h squared okay and all this is over over h okay so what can we do here there is h in all of these terms so we can uh, collect like terms sorry factorize and this is going to give us 1 minus 
2x alone and then this one will become minus h all over h and of course you can see here that uh, h will take away h and so our answer is 1 minus 2x minus h and that is the solution to this particular value that we are asked to find assuming this was in differentiation you would see that uh, this is supposed to give us 1 minus 2x so it's actually derivative of this particular function this function using first principle so but we're going to see that when we go down to differentiation okay and so this is uh, the solution to the problem that we have and this is where we're going to end it for this video always note that to evaluate you are only expected to replace x with whatever value your x is equal to into the function you are giving and then evaluate whatever you have and you will get your solution please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel uh, like comment and share our videos we'll see you in our next video bye